organise in But that's what's happening. Couldn't run the marathon. <laughs> it pretty much ruined my entire day. These are like more trees. It was a very, very deep. Hello. Stand on the opposite shore. Hello, no, no. I reach through mysterious ceilings. My holy hope. I look for the things I don't know. Hello, good afternoon. As you can see, we have made quite a bit of progress. Well, the movers have. I'm very glad that we got movers because that would have been impossible. Props to them for getting that big ass mirror in here too. I think that's where I'm gonna put it because I can't really put it anywhere else. I feel very overwhelmed because I forget that you have that like adjustment period where you feel a little bit uncomfortable like because obviously this doesn't feel like home at the moment and I feel very overwhelmed and just a little bit unsettled but I know that's obviously gonna go away and I just need to settle in to everything and some things in the house like we need to call the real estate to get fixed because the toilet like wasn't flushing. Everything is here for the most part. There's probably like a few bits and pieces still at the old house but for the most part everything is here. This week has been absolutely insane. Like to go from last Wednesday getting the house and now we're here. I don't think my brain has computed the fact that that's what's happening. And I also haven't like eaten properly this week. Like I've just been kind of having like quick fixes, which is fine. But I think I just feel a bit like yucky. My Uber Eats that I had last night did not make me feel very good. So yeah, I'm so excited for Charlie to come here too. So it just feels like empty without her. The uh, boyfriend has gone back to work. So my life today, for the rest of the day, will be unpacking bits and bobs. I'm sitting on the floor of my bedroom because I'm so, I don't know where to start. There definitely isn't as much storage in this place. So I'm a little unsure of like how to set up my clothes because it's not even the clothes that are the problem. It's the activewear. I have so much activewear. Like this is the, this is the situation and I feel overwhelmed. The reason I don't like folding things and putting things in drawers because I find that I never wear anything because I can't see it properly. Whereas, not that I'm like the best at wearing all of my clothes, but when you hang everything up, it's a lot easier to see and I feel like I wear more of my stuff. But I guess it like doesn't matter a whole heap for active wear. This is a very first world problem. Show me where the Indian goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the Indian goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Good morning. It is Saturday today. I had a chiro appointment this morning. I feel like all I've been doing is going to chiropractor appointments and doing house stuff. I went to Target and I ended up spending a lot of money. The thing with bedding to make it look nice, you should always go one size up for like the doona and stuff. Then it kind of like overflows on the edges and it just looks better. For a king, <laughs> the size up from that is a super king. I don't know anyone that has a super king bed. How big is that? Is that, that just, that sounds absolutely enormous to me. Got a new doona. I tried to get the one that was like the thinnest or one that wasn't super thick because I get so hot. I've discovered sleeping next to another person, I think. Oh my God, that's so big. They don't look as nice as like the nice plush ones, but I would rather this 
than sweat my tits off every night. Nice fresh doona. Target also has really nice home bits as well. So I was gonna go Kmart, but Target's a bit better. I just got a fitted sheet. We don't use the top sheet, so just got the fitted one. This is like the same color as the one we've had. And then I got this sheet set, which is very similar to my green one, but this one's a little bit different. I think it's a lot nicer. And yeah, I got this in a Super King, so it's the biggest. I'm pretty sure you can't get any bigger than a Super King. I also got some European pillowcases, I mean, pillows. And then I also got some matching pillowcases. Are these the right ones? Oh. I thought these like didn't match for a second. So those be cute. And then I got some cute little tea towels. Clearly I like the checkered look and green. I also just got some towels. These are like not the best quality, but it's all right. I don't even really use towels that much because I have my robe, but just, yeah. Some like little hand towels, like a, another one. And then two, I feel like these are massive. And then some random bits. I got some magic erasers cotton pads and a toilet brush good morning apologies for the fan I need to get like maybe some lights in the bathroom because the fan turns on when you turn the light on but good morning it is Wednesday today it's been a little minute since I last vlogged yesterday was my 25th birthday and I received some news in the morning and <laughs> it pretty much ruined my entire day and I'm still just waiting to hear back the outcome of the situation essentially I know I'm being very vague but I'm very very anxious and worried right now I'm very scared and it's making me like not want to do anything like I can't think about anything else until I know the answer but I don't know when I'm gonna hear back basically so that is a little bit unfortunate obviously I could have not let it ruin my birthday but it's pretty significant so it was hard not to get down about it my boyfriend and I were gonna go to dinner for my birthday but we ended up just getting uber eats because it was a very anxious and sad day which is really it's not what you want on your 25th birthday isn't it? but in the grand scheme of things it's fine I'm still waiting to like hear back it's like 8 a.m. right now I've got some work to do this morning but you know when you just feel like consumed by something and I literally cannot think about anything else but I think I'm gonna go out and get a coffee just to kind of get out of the house because I feel like I haven't left the house in a week because it's officially been a week since we got the keys. That's what's going on right now, even though I haven't told you anything. Um, and I apologize for that, but some things just aren't for the internet. I'm just popping on some sunscreen. I've got a Cairo appointment this afternoon. So if I seem a little bit down, it's because I am. But the show must go on. Oh my God, my tan looks so bad. Oh. Alrighty, let me give you a little update of what I have done thus far. I've pretty much done everything at this point. I'm actually very impressed with what I've done in the wardrobe thus far. I've basically unpacked everything. There's not really any more unpacking to do. My boyfriend has not though, but that's all right. I've pretty much put my bags here there's no real organization to that i don't really care to make it like super pretty or anything like that so that's gonna do me basically what i've done here is like basic crop tops shirts so like button ups and stuff then i've got casual sets slash dresses because i love a good matching set these are like more dressy mini dresses and then actually i should put that that's all right. And then these are like dressy tops. I don't own that many dressy tops, I've learned. Or I've like decluttered a lot of them. I also put some more shoes down the bottom, but you can't see that. And then up the top, I've got t-shirts, mini skirts, and then one like dress for some reason. And then up here, I've got some like longer pants and then long sleeve activewear tops, other activewear tops. And then down here, I've got dressier pieces and then long skirts pretty much. And then my dressing gown. So that's like basically how I've done the clothes. And then for the fun part, the active wear, cause I was like, there's no way we're gonna be able to hang everything up. This is what I've done. It looks so organized and like neat and stuff. It's probably not gonna stay with this when I start actually working out because it feels like a century since I've done anything, anything physical. So over here, I've got pretty much like long leggings. I don't own that many because I'm not really a long leggings person. And then pretty much all of these are just shorts. They're kind of organized 
guys in brand like this is like Gymshark got some stacks over here and then like some navigation white fox it's a little bit random and then this one is the sports bra drawer slash some more shorts which is very satisfying isn't it to look like this this is definitely the best way that I could fit everything in and I think this is a good way of like being able to see everything pretty easily like I can look and I know exactly what crop top that is then in here we have some shorts and um, some other like lululemon shorts like my running thing and then yeah this one's like the underwear drawer slash bras and socks and whatnot that's the wardrobe which i think looks pretty good and then i unloaded was it yesterday or the day before i can't remember because yesterday was not a fun day this is where i've put all my makeup so i actually think this works out pretty well i do want to get some like mats to put in the drawers because Makeup can be very messy. The nice thing about these is the drawers are very, very deep. So I kept my little organizers. I was almost gonna throw them away and I'm very glad I didn't. So they're kind of like broken and a bit nasty. But I've put in what I can fit there. Some like foundations here. Chaos really. I've left my like brushes out there. And then this side is more like hair bits hair products and then I think the bottom are just like miscellaneous stuff and I've got my mirror here so that's going to be like my little makeup station I've just got the tv on <laughs> that's like noise for Charlie so it's like background noise but yeah that is the update I'm still waiting on my bed to come I actually ordered like a piece of grass for Charlie it's called like a porta potty I don't think we'll need it though but I already ordered it so that's all right I definitely don't feel like filming because I feel a bit sick and anxious but sometimes the hard thing about having my job is like filming my weeks sometimes things happen that i don't want to put on the internet or i'm going through like a tough time mentally or something like it's just really difficult and i feel like i'm all over the place in terms of just everything to do with my job and filming and, I, and my back is still a thing in the back of my mind like i'm not running i haven't been to the gym which is a result of moving but it's that just plays such a big role in my job and what i film as well as my mental health and i just it's a little bit of a weird time but thank you so much for all of the love on my birthday yesterday i didn't really post anything i just posted like a quick little photo just because i didn't we didn't do anything so i didn't have anything to post thanks for bearing with me in this weird time it's just everything's being overshadowed by this one thing and it's so annoying i'll catch up with you later I'm feeling a little bit better today, even though I um, still haven't received news on that whole situation. I am the worst person when it comes to worrying about a situation before it's actually happened. What was that quote? It's like, worry is the debt paid in advance on interest that you may never owe. So I'm gonna try and worry about it when it comes to fruition. Does that make sense? I just finished my Cairo appointment um, and I've been seeing her twice a week for, it's been two, two weeks, three weeks, two and a half weeks. I'm not sure, but we're going to stretch it out to once a week now to see how we go because I actually, I don't want to speak too soon, but I actually do think we are improving. Plan of attack. I'm going to pop into office works because um, I'm going to get this like little wedge that I can sit on when I drive and what's the word? Like sitting at my desk. Basically what we want to try and do is raise my hips from my knees so that when I'm sat down obviously your knees and your hips are in line so by raising my hips it's kind of taking the pressure off my back at that like the sore point so I'm gonna pop into office works and get it it literally is like a foam wedge and then I actually think I'm gonna pop into a lease because it's kind of like on the way I got myself a coffee as my little reward my chiropractor says do your best to like not sit down and get in the car immediately it doesn't like undo what she did but it's just better to not, so I always like take the time to get a coffee. Um, yeah. I push back the serious the ends unknown to get back the life I used to know. This is a very expensive piece of foam. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna boost a seat. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honestly, honestly don't. 
Good morning. It is Monday today. It is very, very gloomy. The weather's been so shit for ages. I cannot remember the last time that we had like a nice sunny day. However, it is really nice at the same time to have a break from the heat. Look what I got. The pantry smells like taco seasoning right now. This video is sponsored by Naked Harvest. Thank you so much, guys. My code for Naked Harvest, by the way, is always Connor15. It never ends. It's all the time. So feel free to use that if you want to get anything. If you missed out on the fruit tingle flavor, um, because it was limited edition, they have now brought it back in stock. This legitimately tastes so much like fruit tingle. My boyfriend also loves the Naked Harvest pre-workouts because they taste so good. And then we also have sour worms. I'm such a sucker for like sour lollies. I'm not, like I like chocolate, but I'm definitely more of a sour lolly person. So these are just right up my alley. And they also changed the packaging, which I think is so much better. So it's got one of these little lids and then this lid goes on a lot more loosely, if you know, you know. I also have a fresh thing of creating, so I wanna give this a go again. I tried it a little while ago and then my boyfriend ended up finishing the whole thing. <laughs> because he loves creatine. But just with like getting back in the gym and like building up my muscle and stuff, I do really want to give this a go. And you can literally add it into anything because it doesn't taste like anything. So you could mix your pre-workout with your creatine, which if you didn't know what creatine is, it's not, it's not a supplement that's only for like bodybuilders or men. I feel like a lot of women think that they can't have creatine. It's definitely not the case. Creatine, I believe, is one of the most widely researched supplements out there. And basically what it's really good for is enhancing muscle strength and power. So you might find that you're able to lift a bit heavier when you're on creatine. That sounds so dramatic when you're taking creatine. And another thing that's really good for is endurance. So you're able to go harder for longer, which is good for running. Great for long distance running. Creatine basically draws water into your muscles, making them look bigger, but it's in your muscle, which is a good thing. I believe you can see water retention for the first like maybe 
three days of like starting to take it, but I would not be concerned about it. So I'm excited that I have these. I need to hide them with my boyfriend, otherwise he will consume everything. And thank you so much Naked Harvest as always for sponsoring my video. I literally consume Naked Harvest every single day. So my protein coffee, my greens, we're gonna start the creatine journey. That'll be fun to document. I wrote on Strava like attempt number like 1 million to get back on it because I feel like all I've been doing for so long, like honestly, since I injured my foot. So it's been like months and months, schnizzes, of trying to get back on it. But I guess that's just the reality of what happens when you can have an injury. It's not all sunshine and rainbows and that's the unfortunate truth. But I've had a considerable amount of rest off of the gym. I don't think I've been to the gym. Do you need to go wait? Okay. But today was my second run back. I did seven and a half Ks and it actually felt really good. He's coming back, I promise. And I'm here too. Yeah, I feel like I haven't really spoken much about my running or my back to the camera in a long time, even though it might not feel like a long time for you guys. I feel like in real life, it's been a long time, but I've been seeing a chiropractor for three weeks now, I think. And I do definitely think it's helping, but it's definitely not gone completely. She did actually tell me that I couldn't run the marathon, which was kind of like hard to hear because I really want to run the marathon. However, I am probably looking at the Sydney marathon because it's a little bit later. It's like two months later. So it gives me a bit more time to build up to it. It's funny because July feels like it's a century away, but realistically in like marathon training and like, because this is my first one, I don't think just with where my running's at that I'm gonna be able to jump into marathon training. Like technically I was supposed to start last Monday and like I've just done a first run back, you know? Like it's just probably not realistic, which is really sad for me because I really did wanna do the Gold Coast one and I got off on the wait list. I would love to do maybe like the half marathon, but the half marathon is also sold out. <laughs> so I don't know how we're gonna go there. Maybe I can get on the wait list or something. But yeah, with that said, I'm gonna look at doing the Sydney marathon because that gives me a lot more time to kind of heal from my injury, slowly get back into like a good place with running where I'm ready to jump into a marathon training block because ultimately I don't wanna, you know, push myself too hard and then I end up really injuring myself and it's even worse. So, but that's where I'm at with that. It's just been a very overwhelming couple of months, honestly, and I'm not trying to complain because I did get a comment last video saying that I was just complaining the whole time. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying that it has been a lot, like there's been a lot going on. My routine is just out the window and I'm so excited to like establish a routine. In terms of what I'm doing with my running plan, oh, I've actually set my runner app to a half marathon training plan because part of me is like, maybe we could do the Brisbane half marathon, which is in June. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. All I'm wanting to do is like, even if I don't run anything, like establish some routine and like get back into a good place with my running because I've had a lot of time off and I don't wanna, you know, like lose all my progress, which I know is not gonna be the case. Like even that run then, I was like, you're pretty, you're pretty still like good for the amount of time that I've had off, you know, which is not even that, you know, you know. Hello, good morning. Don't mind me looking like an egg. I'm just sat on the floor and I'm about to pop on some makeup. I feel like I haven't worn makeup in a million years. Just with like the move and everything, it just hasn't been, oh, who's coming? <laughs> hey, are you showing me your, oh, thank you. Thanks, but that's, you can have it. I promise it's all right, it's yours. Don't, please don't drop it on my laptop. Wow. Oh, wow. Is that yours? Is that yours? I just wanted to end off this vlog here. I'm super excited because in the next vlog, I'm gonna put together my bed. It's not here yet, but I'm pretty sure the mattress is on the way. So we'll be able to assemble it, which I'm super excited for. <laughs> but I'm also so excited to yeah get into my routine, kind of start doing like regular content instead of being in this like limbo phase. From us, say goodbye Charles. As always, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in the next one. Say bye! Say bye! Say bye! <laughs> bye!